All right, now that I've finally gotten enough sleep, I am ready to tell you guys all about my experience at Record Store Day 2017. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about Record Store Day 2017, which was a couple of weekends back on April 22nd. Now, as many of you guys already know, Record Store Day is like the Super Bowl for vinyl. It's the one day of the year where die-hard collectors come together to promote the format and also get their hands on the coolest records. Now, my experience this year was very different than last year. So I'm gonna explain that, and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips so you don't make the same mistakes I did. Are you excited? I sure am. Let's talk about it. All right, so the first mistake I made was not getting enough sleep the night before, and sleep is very important when you're gearing up for Record Store Day because if you wanna get your hands on the best stuff, you have to line up super early. Well, I didn't do that because I had stayed up really late the night before working on more videos for the channel. Now, being that I'm kind of a night owl anyways, I tend to edit these videos at night because during the night, things are just more peaceful. Cell phones aren't ringing, texting, and distracting, and my stupid loud neighbors are usually asleep. But this night in particular, I really should have gone to sleep earlier because I was not prepared for record store day. And I ended up getting there probably around 9 a.m., which is ridiculously late considering the place opened around 10.30. Now, the first person I saw when I got there was Matt from the YouTube channel Too Many Records. And that's actually the first time we've ever bumped into each other at a record shop in LA. But being that we both really love Amoeba, it was bound to happen at some point. So here's a clip of that. I was crazy and lined up. He's gonna take the casual approach. Hopefully we both get what we want. Super casual, I got here super late. Um, yeah. It's fashionable. Like, very tired. Very fashionable. Yeah. But it's Thanks. cool to actually finally meet this guy. It's been, I can't believe I've never ran into you at a record store. Peace guys. Hey, too many records, finalized. Okay. See you later. Now, unlike myself, he did it the smart way. Him and his friend Chris had been there since midnight and they were near the front of the line. So they were definitely gonna get first pick on any records they wanted, which is awesome. But as for me, I had to make that long trek to the back of the line. And just like last year, this year also had a ton of people. And if you've never been to Record Store Day at Amoeba, here's what you should generally expect. The line starts on Ivar Street and then wraps around this alley and finally comes to an end somewhere around here on Cahuenga Boulevard. So yeah, you could say there was quite a few people there, but regardless, I firmly planted myself at the back of the line. And I waited in that line for probably about two hours, most of which was spent in direct sunlight. Now, if there's one thing I hate more than Crosley's, it's direct sunlight, mostly because the sun has not been very kind to me over the years. I don't tan. I burn. But not to worry because before I left the house, I slathered on this really great sunscreen. And this stuff is awesome. It's been with me for two record store days now and it works perfectly if you use it right. So being that I'm in love with this stuff, I'll drop a link down below if you wanna check it out. Now another thing I wanna mention is that despite the long lines, Amoeba does have a really great system which helps keep everything organized and keeps all the people happy. So one of the first things they do is hand out a bunch of these Amoeba fans which help you cool off as you wait in the hot sun. So that's pretty nice. And also they walk by offering you things like coffee and pastries. So basically Amoeba knows that waiting in line sucks and they wanna make your experience a little more pleasant, which I appreciate. And just like I mentioned last year, they also have a really cool menu system which keeps everything peaceful and organized. So basically you check off all the records you want on a menu and then Amoeba gives you a number and fills your order behind the scenes on a first come first serve basis. And then when they're ready for you, you're allowed to walk through their doors and pick up your order. So it's very efficient and it also prevents bloodshed, which is nice. So yet again, the earlier you get there, the better. But regardless, even though I didn't get there early, I still had a great time in line talking with some of the other people who really love music. In fact, just ahead of me, there was a nice British couple visiting from the UK, and we talked for a long time about all kinds of music-related stuff. It was fun. But when I asked to get a picture with them, they weren't comfortable being on camera. Which I guess I understand, because after all, we were in the middle of Hollywood, and who knows? 
I could be a weirdo or something. But not to worry, I did meet a couple of other cool people who were fans of the show and didn't mind being on camera. First, I saw Miles while I was outside chilling in line. He also did it the smart way because he got there way earlier, so good job, Miles. And then later on, after I was inside, I ran into Sean, who's another fan of the show, and we got a photo among the record crates, so that was cool. Now, here's the bad news. After waiting about two hours in line, I discovered that most of my choices were already sold out. Now, my main pick was the Star Wars 10-inch, but let's be real, that sold out probably immediately. So realistically, my first choice was gonna be Santana Live at Woodstock. Well, that sold out too, which kinda sucks. Even the Corey Feldman record sold out. I was gonna buy that thing just to be ironic. So basically, the last record I was holding out for was Bill Evans' Another Time, because I really love good jazz music on vinyl. But I really should have checked the list in the front of the shop, because by the time I got up to the counter, the clerk told me that that record was sold out as well. <laughs> Bummer. So then she gave me this free Amoeba tote bag, and that was that. But that's when I decided, you know what, no. I am not leaving Amoeba without getting at least one record. So then I began searching for the most classic albums that I could think of, that I didn't currently already own. Like Paranoid by Black Sabbath, but that was sold out. Then I thought about Abraxas by Santana, sold out. But then I spotted it. One of the most perfect, most classic rock albums of all time that I didn't have in my collection, but always wanted. And that album, was Nirvana, Nevermind. Picking this album up on beautiful 180 gram vinyl kind of made up for everything else because it's always a good day when you buy Nirvana on vinyl. And I know this isn't music related, but I also picked up Mad Max, Fury Road, Terminator 2, Total Recall, and The Hurt Locker on Blu-ray because these are great movies that have been on my list for a really long time. Now, when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed that the indoor line was also really long. But the good news is that this line moved a lot faster than the line outside. So even though there was a ton of people ahead of me, it only took me a couple of minutes to get to the front, which was awesome. So after I paid, I left Amoeba, walked one block north, and finished the day with some amazing churros at Danny Trejo's Tacos. They were incredible. So basically, if there's a lesson to be learned from my experience, it's this. Get there early, as early as you possibly can, and specifically, if you're going to Record Store Day at Amoeba, get there no later than 5 a.m. At least then you'll have a chance on getting some of the titles you want. But you know, I don't blame Amoeba. I blame myself for not getting enough sleep. And as you know, life is a learning experience. So in this case, I definitely learned a lot. Also, if this video can help one other person with their Record Store Day experience, then this was all worth it. Now, did you guys attend Record Store Day? And if you did, what was your experience? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you love music, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Also, be sure to find me on Friendster, MySpace, and AOL Instant Messenger, or AIM, as the cool kids call it. All my social media links are down below. And most importantly, guys, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl. Sleep is... Kind of important.